Stamper! Welcome to French's video. I'm French Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you a fun little card. It's a flower pot. And you pull it out and then you get your place to write your message there. Two years ago, I received this card here in the mail. This one from my friend Brooke. Uh, she sent me that, like I said, two years ago on Mother's Day, um, her upline, so she uh, sent me that, and I wanted to do this card, and I never got around it till I started playing with Flower Shop to do a class in the mail, and uh, I fell in love with this set, so I said, this is perfect. So, class in the mail, you can visit my blog at frenchystamps.com, and all the information is there. So, today, we're going to make this little flower pot. First thing you want to do is take a piece of cardstock, three and a half by uh, eight and a half. This here it's crumb cake, and this one that I did, I did a uh, Cajun craze. I wanted like something like terracotta uh, flower pot, but now I want to try it with this color, Cajun craze. Okay, you get your eight and a half by three and a half. And we're going to score at three and a half. And uh, again, if I would have my wax, it would be better. And then we're going to score at seven. That's simple. So three and a half and seven, we are done with this. And now we're going to do, take just on the little flap here. We're going to take this, take our round the corner, and we're going to round our corner. So I like to look in the back to make sure I'm lined up good. This one I think it's better on top. And then I'm going to do this one. Voila! Now I get my corner rounded. If you want to emboss, now it would be the time to emboss. Like this one I emboss here with the polka dot and on top with the chevron. Now I'm going to do this different. I'm going to take the beautifully uh, bra. I'm going to do the bottom. And I'm going to emboss both sides. Why not? I think one I just, yeah, both sides. So I'm going to do this here. And we're going to emboss that and see how this is going to look. You know I don't like to do the same thing twice. So let me pass this in the big shot very quick. Oh, that is pretty. Now for the top, I'm going to do the polka dot. So the top's going to be here because your opening need to go in the back. So, really I like this side better. I should have paid attention. Now I'm going to do the polka dot. So now I'm just going to do this part here. So I'm going to go and pass this in the big shot very quick. Okay, voila! So now I have both of them. So now the next step you're going to do, you're going to take, oh, we forgot an important thing. It's to cut it. I should have cut it before putting this together, but that's okay. We're going to mark half inch on each side. So do a little mark at half inch on each, each side. So now that I got that done, we're going to take our paper cutter. Lift your flap because you don't want to cut your flap. Take your mark that you put there, put that right at the crease where it cut in the track there, and then right at the edge here. Let me pull you a little bit more down so you can see. Right at the edge where it finished, where the flap fold, going to go right at the edge of the track, and then your mark right at the track. Close this. And put pressure because we're cutting two layers. Okay. If that's the case that it don't all cut because I got the embossing, that is okay. Take your scissors and you get your line and just go with your scissors. Now we're going to do the same thing 
And with this part, put that right, your mark right at the thread there at the crease, and right here where your flap is going to fold down. Put that there. Again, put a good pressure. Et voila. Now I'm just going to trim this off here. So it's a little bit easier if you do it before you emboss, but you saw even when you get it embossed, it's possible. Now voila, your basket is done. I'm going to show you too how I did the flower, because that's a little bit of trick to that. Now to glue this, I just put two glue dots right at the edge, because you want to pass your card in it. So you see a glue dot there, glue dot there. And now I forgot I raised you up, I raised you down earlier. Voila. Now you can put a ribbon here or a greeting, whatever. I'm just going to put a little tab here for now. I don't know how I'm going to decorate that part. So that's it's all up to you, your choice. Now for your insert that go inside, I use the same color that I do my uh, pot. It is four and a half by two and a half. And then this here, it's going to be two and three eight by four and three eight. So I just decrease a tiny little bit. I'm looking for my snail and I got it. Now I would put snail in the back of this. Just see I get a little border there. Voila. Okay, now for your flowers. The trick to it, you want to make sure you don't have nothing under this over here, just your first layer. It's the reason if you get something glued there, when you come to put it down, it's going to say too high and it will not fit in the envelope. So when you measure it, you don't want to pass five and a half for your length. So from the bottom to the top, not more than five and a half, and it's going to fit in a regular uh, A2 envelope. This was my second one, and this one here, I done this one too, but for some reason, it's too packed for me. It was too packed, it was too busy, it was something not right. So I try it again, and I just use six of the flowers, that's it. This is the set that I use, the flower shop, and I just use this one for this flower pot. Um, over here I had done a mixture of them, but like I said, it was too busy. It was too much of blooming. Okay, so I got six flowers. I colored them with Calypso Coral, the blender pen and just my uh, ink pad. And this is Coastal Cabana. So we're going to start with a dimensional. And I'm going to start with... That one will start with this color. Now we're going to start with this. See, I put it about the top there. So now I'm going to take this here, put it down here. So then I know this is five right there. So this is going to be five and a half. I want to make sure you can see. So I'm right at the bottom. To here it's five, that's five and a half, so I don't want to pass that. So I'm going to put this. Can even go a little bit higher. Okay, now this is my guide. I cannot go higher than that. Maybe a little tiny bit, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Now, the next two. They won't be dimensional. i just going to put some snail, and you can use glue dot to glue dot work even better than snail because it's more secure. I'm going to take this, put that there, and put that there. Okay, next one, I'm going to use another dimensional. right under there because I don't want nothing going on top. Now I'm going to have to use my flower pot because I think I need to go higher. Oh, one flower fell down there. Okay, this is perfect. 
know what I can even go a bit on the side just because I didn't want it to hit the other dot, uh, the other uh, glue dot okay and now okay we get all those one those two here are gonna go right there and I'm gonna do dimensional too so it slide better under the card so I'm gonna take this put that right there so then I know it won't hit and one right there and I'm gonna slide this right under there and then here's another one voila my friend and I can even push it down a bit let me push this down a little. oops tiny bit so now I'm going to take my flower pot and you slide that right in your opening et voila now the only thing I have to do is to uh, put a greeting or put something and then you still have place to write something in your card and it's ready to mail so hope you learned something new all the dimension and all the extra uh, tips going to be on my blog at frenchystamps.com. Till next time, have a great day.